It is Fashion Week here in New Orleans, and it is also the time of year when weddings bloom. So today, Tracy Dundas brings us a little bit of both. Thanks so much for being here. I know you've been busy this week with it, Fashion Week. Yes, it's been a crazy week, and one of the reasons we're, we're showing uh, wedding dresses today is because on Sunday will be um, a bridal showcase with a runway show as part of Fashion Week. Such a fun time of year. It is. A lot of weddings oh, happening, oh especially God. in New Orleans. Oh, and, and it's just the perfect time to, uh, because the weather's so beautiful, you know, and, and brides want something that's going to have a little wow factor. I always say, you know, vow to wow at your wedding, and um, now we're seeing lots of color incorporated into weddings. Uh, you know, we all, we all know the trend of something borrowed, something blue, something new. So a lot of brides-to-be are wearing color shoes. Just I've seen that in pictures a lot, you know, after the wedding. The do you shoes. like it? I kind of do like it. I mean, I just got my shoes for my wedding, which is coming up in a couple months, but I didn't go with that. Back in the day, I guess we all did the tie, the, the dye shoes. You remember that? Yes. That's <laughs> Not gone. so much Not anymore. Not so much anymore. It's all about fabulous shoes. So so throwing maybe a, a blue, or in this case, we brought a pair of teal shoes, um, one with a little sparkle, the other a patent leather. You know, when you're walking down the aisle or lifting that dress, everybody just kind of looks at those beautiful shoes. And see, that would be the wild wow factor. That is the wild wow factor. Another wild wow factor would be with jewelry. A lot of times, brides-to-be, instead of just going with a dainty necklace, now are doing something that will make a statement piece around their neck and just brings the eye up more to their beautiful face. And these could go for the bridesmaids, too, some of the other options you had Abs here. Absolutely, yes. Of course, we want the bridesmaids to look beautiful, mm -hmm. too. Pretty earrings. Lots of sparkle on the ears. And, you know, sometimes the bride-to-be don't want to wear the traditional wedding veil, so they may opt for something more of a fascinator. Can I use you as my model? Sure. Go ahead. And just kind of put it right there on the side. And this That's is so pretty. This is by a local designer, uh, Colleen Ferguson, and uh, her line is called uh, Something Borrowed, Something New. Um, and she does things with feathers and uh, antique pieces that she collects. And what about the wedding dresses? Any certain trends yeah. standing out right now? You know, um, every every new bride loves, loves to have that Cinderella dress, that Cinderella moment. Uh, we're seeing a lot of the heart-shaped uh, strapless dresses with the heart the shape. The sweetheart neck. Thank you. That, I, knew which, I heard you talking about it before, so. You know, and it just, again, it just helps draw the attention to the face if you have a beautiful necklace on. We have two beautiful dresses that um, our models are wearing. One uh, has more of a full cut skirt. It's a champagne color. So again, you may not see the traditional uh, white dress. That's from Pearl's Place. I've seen a lot more of the, the champagne look or the, the more of the off-white than the stark white. Yeah, a lot of brides, again, are just opting for something that's going to be just a little different, yeah. a little wow factor. The other dress is from uh, the bridal boutique at Mamie's, and um, she has more of a mermaid cut dress with just a little flare at the bottom, and, you know, it just uh, offers a little, a, a little sexiness. And it seems like the lace is really hot right now. I mean, for bridesmaids, dresses, for the bridal gowns. Lace is always something popular. And, of course, uh, as you can see with both of these gowns, they have a lot of sparkle and bling and sequins. And the bride-to-be is the center of attention. It's her day to shine. It really is. And the model on the right told me she's been married for 18 years. And so she's kind of reliving it, wearing the dress right now. You know, <laughs> I have those moments, too. I've been married for 10, and sometimes you're going to find out, as, as because you're a bride-to-be, that you're going to want to re recapture that moment yes. in five or 10 years. So why not do it again? Second weddings are just as popular. Yeah, because it goes re by like that. It, it, that's yeah. what I hear. All right, Tracy Dundas and the models you brought in, beautiful today. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Have fun with Fashion Week, too. Oh, thank you.